I've got to be honest with you, there ain't a lot of West Ham news around at the moment, or at least not a load of quality stuff. We're dealing in barrel scrapings, literally reaching into the bottom of the barrel and scraping out what's left at the bottom. Uh, that being said, there are enough of you that are saying, oh, I do enjoy the daily West Ham roundup or my daily West Ham fix, particularly an international break, that we will continue with it. There are a few stories, we'll put them together. Hopefully we get a little video out of it. Just want to say a massive thank you to Mike. Um, the reason I'm saying thank you to Mike is Mike originally had tickets for tonight for the Teenage uh, Cancer Trust to go and see an acoustic set with Who. Couldn't make it. He's gone out actually to the West Indies to watch the cricket and he's having a great, great time. Um, Mike gave the tickets to me and the Who are my favourite band. I want to say thank you, Mike. I'm taking my son. It'll be his first ever gig. I think, you know what it's like when you go to a gig, you get hooked. Mike, you're a, you're a top guy. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to have a great night. I know we are, so thanks, mate. And enjoy the old cricket out in the windies. Um, OK, first story here. Bowen, uh, well, Bowen, Suchek and Rice are going nowhere. The, the club have come out and said, we're just not going to sell them. And they've given the biggest indication yet that they're going to look to recruit and spend... They didn't say big money, but they've hinted at big money. What does big money mean? I don't think big money like Man City money, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I would guess... I would guess. I would imagine if we keep them. I'd be disappointed. Not imagine. I'd be disappointed if we didn't have 80 million to spend. I really, really would. I think that's fair enough. Bearing in mind we didn't spend in the last window. Bearing in mind the debt is down. And, of course, we've got another. We've got a new investor. And even if... I'm not taking the Krasinski money into account, really, apart from the debt is down. Um, but there's another year's worth of TV money. So we've still got a bit of money left over from last season. Plus this season's... I, I, I'm almost disappointed if we don't have 50 million a season. I'm guessing at 80 million. I think if we've got that, we add that to the squad, plus some free transfers. Lingard and the likes we've discussed before. You know, I think it's uh, I think it's a, a reasonable assumption. But anyway, they've said we're not selling Bowen, uh, Rice or Suchek. Obviously, we've discussed Rice lots and lots. Suchek is, we're trying to give him a new contract. He wants 80 grand a week. Um, I guess the negotiations are ongoing. But every time I say don't believe the club when they say the, the contracts will be discussed at the end of the season. This is exactly why. They say those words and then they go and leak information like actually we're we're um uh, we're discussing a contract with Suchek at the moment. We know that uh they're in discussions with Johnson. We know that uh Fabianski signed a new contract in the middle of this season, as did Antonio. They're always negotiating. And why wouldn't you? You wouldn't restrict yourself to such an extent that you, you'd wait until um, the end of the season to discuss something. Suchek played last night. I believe the Czech Republic lost. Look, they're going to have to play him because they're important games. They're not friendly games. But, oh, you know, I really wanted him to have a rest. He's, I think he's just going to return back knackered, which is a shame. I just hope that the rest that everybody else gets sort of um, offsets that. Uh, again, the club have leaked today uh, that... It's not a massive league. I don't really blame them to do it for doing it. It's sort of a hint to Gareth Southgate saying, please don't play Declan Rice. Uh, I think possibly they don't need to do that. I'd imagine a phone call between David Moyes and uh, and Gareth Southgate would probably do the trick. And as much as you know, Moyes is saying, look, he's you know these are his stats, these are his figures. He's absolutely cream crackers. Can you leave him out of one of the games at least, or something like that? I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that would happen. So um, there you go. Uh, ben Johnson apparently makes his debut for uh, the England under 21s tonight. Now this I find really interesting. And now the Evening Standard, who do have good links with with West Ham, I, I think basically it might be Ken Dyer. I think he, he's got the. Uh, he speaks to Sullivan quite a lot, um, and obviously then they've in turn the Evening Standard have got good links within the England camp. The suggestion is that Johnson will be um, played at centre-back. That's really interesting. I really find that interesting because, as we've alluded to before on this channel, um, about Johnson doing a similar job to Cresswell does, but at right centre-back. So um, that would be that would be interesting. I know that's something certainly that Gio wants to see as well. And I, I it sort of makes sense because he is a better defender than he is attacker. And it sort of just takes that a necessity to attack that you have in a right wing back role, a right back role away really, doesn't it? But uh, I think that'd be really, really interesting. Um, I certainly his positional sense is really good. Uh, actually, I won't be watching it. As I said, I'll be, uh, be at a Who gig tonight. But um be interesting to see how he fares on that. Um, the crowd going back. We dealt with that story yesterday, which we, we know. Um, 
West Ham looking to move Darren Randolph on. Not really, not really a story as such, is it? Let's just move on to uh, what's on what's on the one football app in a moment, which is okay. It's, apparently, it's us and Brighton in for Joe Worrell. Uh, as I've, I spoke about him earlier on in the week, I do think we're in for that guy. I really do. Jermaine Defoe retired in case you. Um, didn't notice that. Retired at 39. He ain't had a bad career, really, has he? Let's, let's be fair. Um, I know he's not, not got the best reputation amongst West Ham fans, but, uh, yeah. Uh, more with Man United and Declan Rice. Sebastian Haller we dealt with yesterday. West Ham on the verge of a green transfer deal for France. Star. Let's have a look at this one. OK, this is suggesting we may well make Alphonse Areola's, uh, yeah, transfer permanent. Can't see the allure from Ariola unless... If I was Ariola, I would just want to say to Moyes, OK, I'll sign the deal. I'll, I'll sign for you permanently. But I want to be number one. Um, and we know Moyes doesn't do that, does he? So, uh, I, I'd like it. I'd like to sign him. I really would. Um, can't see it. Uh, more Delefeu links. Look, uh, to be fair, I can't sit here and, and say there's not much news and then criticise it. So I'm really going to take an older story. Um, apparently, in that that ain't happening. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. West Ham enter race for Leal defender. West Ham look set for a busy summer with plenty of rumour departures. So I said that with the old departures again. But no, there are going to be a lot of departures. We know that. Um, it's saying that we were linked to Joe Worrell and Joe Gomez. We like a Joe. We do like a Joe. Not as much as we like a Dembele, of course. As the latest defender to be linked is a move for Lille defender, Sven Botman. <laughs> uh, what are you? Are you a leg guy or a boob guy? No, no, no. I'm, I'm a Botman. Um, he's, uh, he's Dutch. I think he's Dutch. 22-year-old. Um, he's... Where did I read somewhere? I read, read somewhere... He's Chunkenstein. He's Mahusiv. He's a big, big lad. Six foot five, left footed. Okay. Okay. Well, this starts to become believable. If you're large and left footed, um, you've got a chance. You got look, if Hulk Hogan were left footed, he'd get a chance as a centre left centre back. Um and that being said, Ogbonna is uh looking more and more likely that he's gonna come back and um I I thought I was I wouldn't have been a surprise if we hadn't seen him again, if I'm brutally honest with you. Um, what do we like? Have you, I know there's, somebody, there's a lot of you out there who are who are quite well versed in the European game. Do you watch Lille play? Uh, do you know who this bot man is? Uh, is he any good? Uh, he's now rated at £27 million by transfer market. That doesn't mean anything. Um, he's also recently received praise from Lille captain and former West Ham centre-back... Oh, Jose Font. Oh, Font. What do you want? Font or Fonte? He told TalkSport he's a top player. Surely a top, top player. Not just a top. I must say, I was surprised when he first arrived. I wasn't expecting his level of quality. I was expecting a youngster with potential. But a guy's very composed and mature for his age. He's a defender, which is good. Um, and by that, I mean he likes to defend. Excellent. Excellent. Jose Fonte. He's a defender. And by that... I mean, he likes to defend. I wonder if Fonte says um, he's a forward. And by that, I mean, he likes to get forward. He likes to play simple. He's strong. He's tall. We know this. We've established this. He wins his jewels. He doesn't overcomplicate the game. He's good on the ball. Left-footed. That's, that's funny. He didn't say, and he's left-footed. He said, uh, he's tall. He wins his, he's, sorry. He's strong. He's tall. He wins his jewels. He doesn't overcomplicate the game. He's good on the ball, left-footed, says it. Um, doing extremely well since he arrived. So, yeah, no wonder there's interest in him. It doesn't surprise me at all. Um, it does not make me laugh. Average, he's averaging a 7.14 match rating in Lille 1. At that point, you know the journalist has lost the ability to find out any more information. And it's just, he's just going, but that's, uh, a bot man completes 88% of his passes on average per game, as well as winning over two-thirds of his duels per game, too. Um, oh, dear me. I'm, I'm taking a mickey. Look, there's, there's not much else to do. As I say, quite frankly, um, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel uh, for a bit of content during the international break. Uh, and there's always people who say, I just want to get one or two and say, I don't know why you're doing this rubbish. But then again, I don't know why you watch it if you think it's rubbish. But there are enough of you lovely people who say, thank you very much for the um, daily updates. And in all honesty, I'll be perfectly honest again, 
I could do with the ad revenue. So there you go. It's it's hopefully win-win all round. Not a lot of other stories. Um, well, with Sam Johnson, um, West Brom are apparently going to offer him a new contract. But, I mean, that's a weird one. Surely they would have been offering him new contracts anyway. Newcastle are interested. We're interested. I definitely... Well, we're definitely going to bring in a keeper. We just have to, don't we? Um, all in all, all... Oh, sorry. One more. Bit of Darwin Nunes for you. Arsenal are a few steps ahead of West Ham and Newcastle in the pursuit of Benfica striker Darwin Nunes. There you go. Um, yeah. I need to watch a bit more of him. I need. To, I think I need to watch a bit more of him. I'm not saying I watched him. He was crap, but he didn't. He didn't reek of a player that David of David Moisey type player. Do you know? You know what I mean? It didn't didn't seem that way to me. Um, I, I'll go and watch a little bit. I'll I'll watch more of him and I'll get back to you and let you know what I think. In the meantime, you watch a little bit more of him. Um, bear in mind, nothing else to do with international break. Um, the sun's out, though. That's nice. The sun's out, so um, that's really good. Uh, ben Fika aware um, of the potential interest from Arsenal for Nunes. They could hold out for a fee of at least £67 million for his signature. Well, that's no good for us, because as we already established um, by uh, by my my extrapolation, I think we've got £80 million. And even in my terrible, terrible mathematics, that would leave us with £13 million pounds left which is not enough well it's enough for me and it's enough for you we can do quite a lot with 13 million pounds it's a lot of holidays um it's a it probably doesn't get you a super yacht does it maybe it, no it definitely doesn't get you but whatever we can live our lives at 13 million in terms of buying a player no good no good anyway right I'm off. Um, no, oh no, no adverts today. There you go. I've not even I've not even advertised anything. Maybe I feel I should advertise. There's nothing to advertise. Don't worry about it. We'll do that another time. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch up with you tomorrow.